Yeah. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessalyn and our channel is all about creating videos that center around the things that we value the most, which is our faith, our family, and our farm. So no, this is not another one of those how to make a whipped coffee videos. I know you've been seeing them everywhere. I've been seeing them everywhere too, which is obviously why I decided I had to give it a try. And I already know that someone's gonna call me out. I already know that someone's gonna say, that mine doesn't look anything like some of the others that people have been making. That's fair. <laughs> That's totally fair because I don't think that it does either and I've tried multiple times. They say it's super easy, it's three ingredients. I mean, who could mess that up, right? I think you just need to whip it a little bit longer. However, five minutes of solid whipping labor is more than enough for this girl and it still tastes really good. So. That's all that matters. Now, some of you who are not new might be wondering where all the farming updates have been. My husband has been working a lot. He's the muscle behind this whole farming operation, so I really have to wait for his expertise and him to be available to help make these videos. But I will tell you, the guinea fowl have officially been purchased. We did purchase them and they will be here in the month of June. We also have all the materials available to start building our raised garden beds. This will be our first ever attempt at a garden. So you'll definitely want to stick around and see how that goes. And also we did um, start finishing our basement. That's been on my wish list for at least the last two years. That kind of got put on hold while we were working to establish the farm, but we are now able to start finishing it. So I'll show you some of the progress on that as well. And then we do have a couple of new furry farm friends that we have accumulated in the last week. So stick around and you can see exactly what they are. What are you doing? Just eat strawberries. Eat some strawberries. I got your medicine. Are you ready? Yeah. Got it? Mm-hmm. Good job. So that was her daily dose of elderberry syrup. Not sure how many of you are familiar with elderberry syrup, but it is something that I was just recently turned on to. It's known to have a ton of great health benefits, helps to boost your immune system, helps boost your gastrointestinal system, helps alleviate respiratory symptoms, colds, coughs, things like that. I know there's a lot of people who actually make their own elderberry syrup. I myself have not gotten quite that far in life yet, so I did purchase ours through Alex's Elderberries. That's who we were referred to through a friend of mine. Super affordable, tastes really great, and I highly recommend it. With all the craziness going on right now, it definitely doesn't hurt to have something or just be taking something to help keep your body that much healthier. Hi. Hi. Are you bored? We've been stuck inside for a while, huh? Yeah, but we're gonna get out today and we're gonna do your scavenger hunt. How do you feel about doing this whole school thing at home? It feels a little awkward at the same time. It feels a little awkward at the same time. Is mommy a good teacher? Yeah, I mean just for mom you're a good teacher. For mom I'm a good teacher? I'll take it. All right, so Mike is gonna be home here in a little bit and then we will be taking a trip out to the barn so you can get what you came for, so you can check out our new bottle-fed calves. While we are waiting, we're about to get our scavenger hunt on. Nathan's teacher gave us the choice of completing either an indoor or an outdoor scavenger hunt. I'll post a copy of the scavenger hunt in case any moms and dads out there want to take a screenshot of it and try this at home. And definitely drop us a comment below. Let us know what you guys are doing right now now to occupy yourselves during this whole quarantine. We love to hear from you guys as well. You ready for this? Yeah. Okay, so we gotta find five leaves that look different. Caught in a 
Here they are. Four new additions to the family farm. So how much milk were you feeding them? Two bottles a day each. One in the morning, one at night. Something like six pints a day. Eight pints a day, something around in there each. They were three days old when I got them. They were three days? Yeah. So they're probably- Couple weeks? Three, three weeks now. And we're just starting to wean them? Yep. They're, they've eaten half their grain today, so that's good. When I'm weaning them, I keep them locked in the barn all day so they're not out running around. They're focused solely on when they're hungry to look for a food source and a water source. Is there any reason that we got four boys, or is that just what we got? Yeah, so they're steers. So I banded three of them, which means that they won't be bulls, they'll be steers. They get bigger and meatier than the females, so they're better to butcher. And then I save back this guy here. He's going to be a bull. I'm going to try to mate him to the two heifers I have. See, he'll be ready in about eight months to breed. They definitely seem healthier. Yeah. No healthier breed. than the girls that we got, but they're the same breed of cow. No, these are 100% Holstein. 100% dairy feeder. They've been more lively, and they seem to have more personality than what the, the girls did. They were both sick when we got them. The girls? Yeah, whoever sold them to us, I won't name names. Didn't take good care of them. Shot them with, you know, your local over-the-counter crap. And it wasn't good enough. We lost two cows because of it last year. Trying to undo what they did. Yeah. I mean, I've got $600 into all these cows right now. These four? Yeah. And Holy. then when they're full grown, how much do you make profit-wise? Uh, make 500 a quarter, so 2,000 sheets. When you're bottle feeding, be consistent and just pay attention to everything. Pay attention to how they are every, every second you can because they can die on you like nobody's business. Make sure you got antibiotics on hand. Make sure you don't move them around in the truck a lot. They're very sensitive babies. So that's all for today. Thanks so much for spending time with us. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to let us know by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you go. We'll see you next time. Sissy. What? Look out there in that yard. Do you see something new out there? Yeah. You see something new that you never seen before? Mm-hmm. <gasps> what is that?